Welcome everyone back to the book of Proverbs part 20 audio narration by MC Brown and we're reading from the book of Proverbs 19 and we're reading from a gifted scripture journal it's a copyright 2001 from Crossway from my good friends Eric and Amber Lee I uh, want to thank them as well as my good friend Greg in the comments uh, who will comment as Cinder Fox uh, recapping the chapters for you all in the <clears throat> the book of Proverbs so I just want to thank him and them uh, may God keep you safe and well wherever you are. Uh, if you have anything you need prayers for, please leave in the comments and we, everyone hopefully seeing this would be happy to pray for you, uh, or any questions or anything or whatnot. Um, please like this video, share if you can't to anyone, uh, that would have the ESV version that could follow along or just, even if someone just wants to listen to this, uh, please share that, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Everything helps the algorithm so we can hopefully reach more people, so. Without further ado, let's jump in. We are in the book of Proverbs 19, the SV version. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than one who is crooked in speech and is a fool. Desire without knowledge is not good, and whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. When a man's folly brings his way to ruin, his heart rages against the Lord. Wealth brings many friends, but a poor man is deserted by his friend. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breaches out lies will not escape. Many seek the favor of a generous man, and everyone is a friend to a man who gives gifts. All a poor man's brothers hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursues them with words, but does not have them. Whoever gets sense loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will discover good. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies will perish. It is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury, much less for a slave to rule over princes. Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. A king's wrath is like the growling of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is ruined to his father, and a wife's quarreling is a continual dripping of rain. House and wealth are inherited from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. Whoever keeps the commandment keeps his life. He who despises his ways will die. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. Discipline your son, for there is hope. Do not set your heart on putting him to death. A man of great wrath will pay the penalty, for if you deliver him, you will only have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept instruction, that you may gain wisdom in the future. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. What is desired in a man is steadfast love, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and whoever has it rests satisfied. He will not be visited by harm. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish and will not even bring it back to his mouth. Strike a scoffer and the simple will lean prudence. <clears throat> Strike a scoffer and the simple will learn prudence. Repro reprove a man of understanding and he will gain knowledge. He who does violence to his father and chases away his mother is a son who brings shame and reproach. Cease to hear instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A worthless witness mocks at justice, and the mouth of the wicked devours inequity. Condemnation is ready for scoffers, and beating for the backs of fools. And that wraps up here on Proverbs nineteen twenty nine, and we'll, re we'll resume on part 21 is, of course, Proverbs 20. Uh, I want to thank you all for... Tuning in as always. Uh, may God bless you, keep you safe, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one.